what are the components of jet fuel exhaust? Rather than look at the sky and then collect some rain, various studies have directly measured exhaust from planes, though most of these have occurred at airports and not while the planes are in flight. These studies have found the following things in jet engine exhaust. Black carbon, carbon monoxide, nitric oxide and nitrogen dioxide, polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons like naphthalene, organic and elemental carbon, other elements and water-soluble ions which are dominated by sulfur and sulfate ions with no reports of aluminum, and various SVOX or semi-volatile organic compounds like formaldehyde. Now, I would expect to find very small trace amounts of aluminum in the exhaust from wear and tear on the engine, which I imagine to have aluminum parts somewhere that could corrode or degrade and make it into the exhaust. This may be ignorance on my part, or it may be so small as to be insignificant, since I would hope that a corroding part would be replaced. After reading many studies, my conclusion is that no significant aluminum has been found in jet engine emissions. None. Zero. How much aluminum is naturally occurring in the environment? The basic answer to this is all different kinds of amounts. Aluminum, it seems, is everywhere. It's like what people imagine God to be like. Aluminum is the third most common element on the Earth's surface behind oxygen and silicon and is its most abundant metal. Aluminum makes up around 8% of the Earth's crust by weight and is also present in the air, water, many foods and beverages, in marijuana and tobacco, and basically all parts of your body from your brain to your bollocks, aluminum is everywhere. And each day we ingest about 5 milligrams of aluminum, mostly in our food and water, and absorb only a very small fraction of that. Aluminum is found in greater abundance in highly acidic water with a pH below 2.5. According to one now rather old study, in U.S. cities, auto emissions not plane emissions, auto emissions contribute somewhere between 1 and 9% of the aluminum found in the surrounding atmospheres. Tests on precipitation back in the 60s, 70s, and 80s, long before the chemtrail conspiracy is supposed to have started, found that rain and snow to contain aluminum in small quantities, as they did with the other elements that they looked for, including silver, copper, lead, zinc, sodium, calcium, the interesting thing about the elements we find in the rain and snow are that they are in the same proportions as they are in the crust of the Earth. So the rain and snow contains dust from the Earth's crust that we know contains aluminum, so we should expect to find some aluminum in any sample of rain or snow. Is there a link between aluminum and jet exhaust? So far in my search I haven't been able to find a direct link between aluminum and aircraft exhaust. Aluminum doesn't go in and it doesn't seem to come out. 